What is going on guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am headed to Malibu right now for a cars and coffee with some friends. Just pulled up to my buddy's house. How's it going, Cam? Hey, how are you? What's going on, dude? What's we up? got Jojo. What's up? How's this thing? You got the Huracan Evo for the yeah, weekend. It's cool. It's fun. And like it's a flex car, but like it feels kind of slow. <laughs> But I think I'm also like kind of spoiled. Like, That's the world we live in now, where Lamborghini Huracan Evos are slow, while he drives a two and six twenty R and what a thousand horsepower Audi R8 twin turbo. Not bad. All right, let's hit Malibu. In the car here with Joey on the way to Malibu, and he just pointed out that this car is actually better than Cam 620R because it has a cup holder. So take that, dude. It doesn't fit anything, <laughs> no. <laughs> It is an absolutely gorgeous day out today. New S Class. All right, how's this for the start to the show? A LaFerrari pulling up with a camera car colored in behind it. That is gorgeous. Beautiful 812. Look at the wheels on this. Followed by a nice event store. Right hand drive Nissan GTS. Nice GT3 RS headed out. Look how tiny this Mini is, that's amazing. Pretty epic turnout so far. The show literally just started, already got a Senna and a La Ferrari. Always cool to see one of these in person. I like this E30. Every time I see an E63, I miss mine. Now the wagon arrived like six months after the sedan in the United States, so I hadn't seen it in person yet, which is why I ordered the sedan, but right after this dropped, I was super jealous. The wagon is definitely cooler. Check out the spec on this thing with the amazing bronze anarchy wheels. This looks pretty epic. Nice E36, check it out. Always incredible seeing a La Ferrari in person, particularly parked right next to a Hyundai. This is so cool. Alright guys, what do you think? La Ferrari or P1? The ultimate question. Love this Porsche Speedster. <laughs> the Porsche man, he likes it. Oh, look at the interior too. That is way cool. You should get one. Another 600 LT pulled up. Check out this wide body GTR. Look at the size of that wing. One of the absolute coolest cars here, 300 SL Roadster. That is absolutely gorgeous. Check out the purple color on this Evo Spider. I need to. Wow, that is stunning. Never seen, I've been doing that. Beautiful wide body 993. Nice slam Huracan. Oh, what's going on? Gintani twin turbo Evo. Epic turbo F. And then look at this matte black SVJ. Check out this silver Pista Turbo S and then an SVJ behind that. That Pista is loud. Roadster. Check out this RX3. That is awesome. Check this out guys. This Mercy is a manual. I absolutely love the HRE wheels on this too. Oh my God. Second 300 SL of the show, except this one is my favorite, the Gullwing version. So beautiful. And then check this out. I really don't know anything about it, but Jay Leno just brought this crazy old Bentley race car. 
Letting this girl sit in, that's amazing. Wow. I like this Mitsubishi van, that thing's cool. <laughs> Headed back over the hill now. Pretty cool turnout at the show. Seeing that La Ferrari, multiple 300 SLs, Jay Leno pulled up, Matt Farah was there. Pretty fun event. But before we continue, I'd like to give a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped, a global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Their packaging is amazing, and they just came out with their new Lawnmower 4.0 electric waterproof trimmer. And if you want the ultimate experience, you can get the Performance Package 4.0 bundle. This is an all in one kit that makes grooming as easy as possible. The Lawnmower 4.0 has replaceable ceramic blades. It's also got a nice little LED light so you can trim with confidence. They've also got this awesome new wireless charger. The performance package also includes a new weed whacker nose and ear hair trimmer, which is honestly a game changer. After you shower, Manscaped has a crop preserver ball deodorant, which is a clear drawing moisturizer that keeps you protected all day long. They've also got a midday refreshing crop preserver ball toner, which is an incredible name, and it's got soothing and cooling aloe vera in it. With the full performance package 4.0 kit, for a limited time, you actually get two free gifts, the shed travel bag, as well as anti-chafing boxer briefs. So guys, go to manscaped.com today or click the link in the description below to get 20% off two free gifts and free international shipping if you use my code VIRGIN20 at checkout. Porsche just dropped one of the coolest cars I have ever seen, the Mission R concept. It's built to demonstrate the future of customer racing and it is fast, sexy, and all electric. It's powered by two electric motors. The motor in the front makes 429 horsepower and the motor in the rear makes 644 horsepower for a total of 1,073 horsepower. Now it's got two different modes. In race mode, it only makes 671 horsepower, but if you put it into qualifying mode, that's when you get the full 1,073 horsepower. The best part is Porsche claims there might be a production version of this car as soon as 2025 or 2026. They also claim it can do zero to 60 in under two and a half seconds, reach a top speed of above 186 miles an hour, but I think one of the most impressive parts is its charging capability. The Taycan Turbo uses an 800 volt electrical system to charge really fast. They put a 900 volt system in the Mission R, which allows it to charge from five to 80% battery in just 15 minutes. Instead of adding a roll cage after the fact, Porsche created a carbon fiber composite cage that's actually built into the structure of the vehicle. Porsche calls this the exoskeleton because if you look from the top down at the roof, you can actually see that carbon fiber structure, which looks pretty darn cool. Despite being an electric car, cooling is a critical component on the racetrack. Porsche actually claims it needs as much cooling capabilities as a GT3 cup car. So we have those massive air intakes in the front of the vehicle. They actually have louvers in them that can open and close the intakes based on how much cooling is required. It also creates active aerodynamics in conjunction with the rear wing. The interior is epic too, using mostly carbon fiber reinforced plastic. There's also 3D printed foam elements in the interior as well. Now, Porsche claims you can actually take the full carbon monocoque of the Mission R and use it as a racing simulator. That is the fanciest racing simulator I've ever heard of, but pretty darn cool. Inside and out, the Mission R looks absolutely insane. It's aggressive, it's functional, it's track focused. Yes, it's electric, but you can't deny you want one of these. I certainly do. Mercedes also unveiled some of their future plans at the IAA Mobility Show in Germany. They're claiming that by 2025, there's actually gonna be an electric variant of every single car model that they make. At the show, Mercedes unveiled an AMG performance version of the all-electric EQS sedan. It's called the EQS 53 AMG, and it makes 649 horsepower and 700 pound-feet of torque. Now, if you opt for the Dynamics Plus package, that brings you up to 751 horsepower power and 700 pound feet of torque. The interesting thing is the name EQS 53 AMG. It leaves me wondering, are they going to make an EQS 63 AMG with significantly more power? 
I imagine so, and I'm excited to see some 1,000 horsepower Mercedes all-electric sedan. Mercedes also dropped the EQG concept, which is a fully electric version of the G-Wagon, and it looks straight from outer space. The front grille has LEDs that illuminate. It's got 22-inch wheels that look like they're off of a Maybach, and it's got four electric motors. Now, unfortunately, Mercedes hasn't given us any performance details yet, but they do say that it's pretty much production ready. So we are going to be seeing an electrified version of the G-Wagon relatively soon. Interestingly enough, on the back of the car, where you normally have that spare tire, they've actually made it square, and it's no longer for a spare tire, it's actually for storage if you wanna put in extra charging cables, so on and so forth. Lastly, Mercedes unveiled the Mercedes Maybach EQS concept. It is a fully electrified Maybach EQS SUV that is absolutely stunning and also looks like it is straight out of the future. Having a fully electric luxury car makes a lot of sense. You want it to be quiet, you want it to be smooth, and electrification does all that and more. The interior of the Maybach concept is absolutely insane. I hope eventually they make a production version with an interior that looks like this because it is out of this world. Now, don't get me wrong, it's extremely depressing that V12s and V10s are slowly being phased out and eventually the world will probably be predominantly electric cars but the good news is Porsche and Mercedes are doing some crazy innovative work and I really like the future of electrification the cars look pretty awesome and guaranteed to be insanely fast well guys I hope you enjoyed today's video like always please browse the channel and subscribe I look forward to seeing you next video Bye.